name is John Root. I am currently working as the 101st Airborne Division Knowledge Management Officer. We, we simulate big games to solve big problems for the military so we don't actually have to put people on the ground moving. It's a little safer than putting the troops in harm's way to solve problems. I've got two kids. They're doing a little homeschooling. They're not super happy about it, but as far as being physical, they're healthy. So yes, I'm healthy. My family's healthy. Uh, and, and everyone I know is too. Thank you. Thank you for that. Me personally, I'm set up 100%. I can log into meetings all across the world. The one thing I'm having problems with is getting people to stop what they're doing long enough to learn a new way of doing things. And we like to meet face to face. We like to call all of our lieutenants in and say, this is what we're going to do today. Everybody follow my charge. Well, we, we can't do that today. And, and I know it's challenging for everyone else in the formation to work. The, the effect on the economy is it, it's the biggest thing out there. It's the, it's the one thing that we can't really get, get through. The economy has to run you know, for our nation to operate, for the world to operate. You, know, you can't produce widgets and you can't take those things to market without incurring some type of risk. Um, you know, having the faith that it's going to return to where it is. You know, we can't have people losing that. Or the unemployment keeps going skyrocketing high. People don't want to go back to work or they, they don't feel like they can go back to work. I think it's going to be okay. I'm just kind of worried about what the long-term effects of it is. You know, seeing uh, you know, first responders, people that work in emergency rooms, and, you know, you know, policemen, uh, firemen, um, they've always had my most respect because they don't get nights and weekends off. When they're at work, they are absolutely worried about everything they come in contact with being safe, not their own safety. You talk, talk to people like that that are dealing with other people having the worst time of their life and they, they couldn't be more selfless. Yeah, but they have my most respect, you know, day in and day out, not, not just in the I, I would want the students to look around and see who's still working. You know, those, those jobs are the ones that are always going to be there. Those are, those are the jobs that people really, really need. You know, when, when you're a high tensile electrical worker, well, those guys are going to go to work and they're going to get paid very well for the things they know. So I would say to the, to the young people out there, take advantage of this time to teach yourself and educate yourself and train yourself in the things that you're most interested in because we're going to, we're going to educate differently than we're going to Next year is not going to look like this year. Thank you.